what's going on it is actually friday today it is friday Whew, it is friday man okay <laughs> y'all already know i didn't told y'all how my week has gone okay so i am relieved that it is now actually friday and i'm just looking forward to the weekend so i can first of all take these braids out these braids coming out this weekend and so i can just chill and relax and no maybe binge watch some stuff i think i'm a probably binge watch just because living single it's on hulu so i don't know that's probably what i'm gonna do but i'm definitely gonna be in the house on the weekend okay so y'all do y'all watch the grand hustle <laughs> okay so when i saw that there was going to be a show by ti called the grand hustle i was like i ain't watching that shit because i'm not really here for ti but i just was like okay cool i'm gonna try it and it's actually a good watch it's entertaining and so i've been following it since it premiered i think it's um maybe last night it comes on thursday nights on bet and i think it was episode i want to say episode five that came on last night okay <laughs> now he had all of the people you know the 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 people that are in the house so it's team grand and it's team hustle and each episode they have a challenge right and you know same old same old it somebody they do the challenge and one team or the other wins so last night the premise was no challenge we gonna take a day off okay so ti sets up this party at the house and you know he tells them all right y'all been working so hard so i'm gonna give y'all a day off and so everybody got all excited and everything and they go out to the it's a pool party so of course there's plenty of liquor it's music it's girls you know whatever right <clears throat> but oh shit y'all hear that there we go so anyway I, you know i was thinking to myself why the fuck don't they know that this is a set up this is a setup even even if they didn't put it together that it was an actual challenge anytime you get put as a contestant of a show or participant of a show or whatever anytime you get put into a contrived set of circumstances and there's alcohol you should know that that shit is a setup do not partake and if you do you need to be able to control yourself okay even even e e b m even if they didn't know that ti which they should have known ti was watching them because it's cameras everywhere and this isn't the first episode they know that ti watches them like no matter what they do they know that there's cameras set up and ti has eyes everywhere so as they're at the party they you know they kicking it they chilling they drinking and um ti is sitting off and he told them they were 
he told them he was leaving the party to go to a meeting, which should have been another red flag. Okay, well, if we kicking it and we chilling, I understand you the boss or whatever, but if this is a, quote, day off, then, you know, why the boss ain't, ain't kicking it and chilling if it's really officially a day off? So, anyway, um, I think... I think the one dude put it together. I forgot his name, but he's the dark skin, um, skinny dude that was, um, that likes, child, I don't know none of these names, but he, he, he likes the other little girl that's in there. I think her, maybe your name is Sydney. I don't know. Anyway, but no, it didn't, it didn't seem as if anyone put it together that, it was a setup and a few people just got baited right into it. Jonathan, Jonathan, Jill, um, Jonathan, Jonathan, and Jill. Those were the three main ones who at the end of the show, T.I. was, um, had them up for elimination because <laughs> Jonathan, him and George him and George don't like each other they they from the first episode got into it okay so tensions have just been mounting between Jonathan and George George also ended up beefing with Jill on the last episode over that presentation that they was doing when they was making that sh that shoe that sneaker they was coming up with an ad campaign um, and they had for sneakers that they created. So George is not necessarily a house favorite, but in particular, like, and George also got into it with Jonathan before. He got into it with Javi before. So he George is not a house favorite, but in this particular instance with the party situation, like before the party happened, something went down between Jonathan and George to where George said something to Jonathan and George was like, your mother. So, so that pissed Jonathan off, right? And so when the party rolled around, Jonathan was extra, like, I don't fuck with George, okay? So... <clears throat> T.I. planted like three of his folks to be moles at the party and Jonathan and Jill were baited into talking shit to the moles about George and the whole time T.I. is watching this and like oh my god and what was crazy was when T.I. was at the party, Jill asked him if it was one thing that you have observed throughout this competition that I need to work on, what would that be? And T.I. told her, it's your emotions. Your emotions, you allow your emotions to override your logic, okay? And so <laughs> he specifically told her that. And so this girl completely just ignores that information and just starts downing them. She drinking, she drinking, banging them back, bow, bow, bow. And to the point where she was taking a drink at one time and the shit just spilled all out of her, out the cup, all down the sides of her chin and everything. And clearly she was, she was, she was, she was she was drunk okay and ti is watching the whole thing jonathan um was all cozied up to to jill throughout the party right and he too was was baited into talking shit about george along with jill they both were talking shit about george to the moles and um 
Jonathan said something about he was going to beat George's ass or something. And Jill said she would, rather than to deal with George, she would rather pluck her own eyeballs out. And ha it was just a lot. Okay. And so, and then, and then Jonathan, <laughs> Jonathan was dancing with the girls at the party and he was just like motorboating their asses and all types of shit it was just they made a complete fool of themselves okay so and then jonathan oil king oil king <laughs> he was this nigga got so drunk at the party to where he stripped down to his he he didn't even have the decency to wear some hoop shorts or go change into some swim trunks this nigga stripped down out of his clothes down to his fucking drawers and jumped in the pool and was um and was walking around with a bottle of baby oil slathering that shit all on the women at the party and talking about some oil king oil king i know i sound stupid he sounds stupid so i know i sound stupid hollering that bullshit oil king okay so javi Javi was the point for the point as in the, the leader of the team on the last episode. And they, um, I believe they won the challenge with, with her as point, right? Um, and so Javi at the party, she used that as an opportunity to push her personal brand okay i believe she she designs clothes and she makes cosmetics she wears the um the glitter lip products and so she took that opportunity you didn't even really see her at the party <clears throat> like at the you know partaking in the festivities like she was down at the pool for a brief period of time but as as the party went on she ended up going upstairs with some of the ladies and letting them try out her lip products and handing out her business cards i was like yes javi girl you better do it till you satisfied okay so i knew javi was good and i've liked javi since she came into the house I, i've liked javi because you know she just she she knows her shit she's sure of herself she has the confidence she has the swagger and i, I just was you know really i liked her from jump um so Javi did that, okay? And then the other girls, I don't remember their names, but the one the one young lady with the faux locks and the other um chocolate brown skin girl with the twists, I think her is her name Grace. I don't, I don't have these names straight. Leave it in the comments if y'all know who I'm talking about. But they um kind of just mingled around the party. They had a few you know they had a drink or two i believe they both had a drink or two but they didn't get drunk like jonathan jonathan and jill okay and they were just mingling throughout the party having conversation and whatever um so <clears throat> you know good look on their on their behalf um and who else tyron that's his name tyron and the 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 real slim brown skin girl with the with the long tracks they were just kind of like booed up bitty da da my daughter loves that song um <laughs> it's a little it's a cute little bop but they play the shit out of it so anyway they were booed up throughout the party um which when it came time for elimination um 
T.I. did mention that, you know, like y'all business is y'all business, but keep in mind that y'all are representing my brand. So when it came down to elimination, T.I. excused the majority who were not getting eliminated. And it came down to Jill, Jonathan, and um, and Jonathan, okay? And so, he, uh, he excused, he excused Jill, so she was safe from elimination, not because, he said, not because, excuse the siren, y'all. It's an ambulance turning. But um, he, he excused Jill, he said, not because she was necessarily better than anyone else, but just because she was not as bad as the others, okay? So... But something tells me that Jill is still going to be on her bullshit. She, because she just is hard headed like that. Um, and she's been in the bottom three, uh, like for the past couple of episodes. So she had, she has a pattern. Okay. And it doesn't look like anything really can interrupt that pattern because she's in her own way. So. It came down to Jonathan and Jonathan and and they and Jonathan was really making excuses okay as to why he behaved the way he did and he he was pretty much saying you know it was a party people are supposed to turn up and have fun but he totally missed the point it being a party had absolutely nothing to do with the outcome. So he, he totally missed missed the mark, but he did not he did not get eliminated. Jonathan, however, did get eliminated. <laughs> um because he was he was he was just by far the worst. Like that oil king oh my god he was drunk he was drunk and um what was i gonna say <laughs> i forget but i i don't know y'all if if y'all haven't checked out the grand hustle it's it's definitely entertaining i ti gets on my nerves with how he talk <laughs> he talks like his his jaw is wired like i don't know uh but even still all of ti's antics oh ti called jonathan a butt muncher <laughs> ti called him a butt muncher so anyway that was um just a little bit about the grand hustle <laughs> um and I don't know. I, I'm. This low key, like, snuck up on me the way that I actually like this show because I actually look forward to it coming on every week so I can watch it. And um, I'm curious to see what's going to happen with George, you know, because <laughs> George. George is not my favorite person, you know, but George just is who he is. And the fact that what what got um, Jill and Jonathan in the position that they were in, that's because I because I really think had had they not talk shit about George to people that they that were strangers to them 
and had only just maybe gotten a little tipsy at the party, they pro they may not have been up for elimination or I don't know. Maybe they would have still been up for elimination, but it just really was not a good look that Jonathan and Jill um, forged this camaraderie amongst the two of them from talking shit about George. Like they, you know what I mean? They were, that was their thing. Like they banded together out of their disdain for George. And I, listen, when you talk shit about a person to somebody, them type of people who they barely even know you, but they talk shit on their family to you. They talk shit on their baby father to you, their baby mother. They talk shit on their co-workers or whoever, but it's not even the fact that they talking shit. It's the fact that they barely know you, but it's like they, um, they just can't wait for an opportunity to talk shit about somebody. You guys, they're clearer than people. So anyway, y'all, I done ran my mouth. It's uh, going on 22 minutes, and I'm getting ready to get up here to get on the train so I can bang out this half-day Friday, okay? And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you can get more of me, all right? And I will catch y'all in the next video.